Okay, day 15. Yeah. 10 days till Christmas. Yep. But even better, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. I really, this week, I'm done with this week. I'm mentally exhausted. <sighs> so we're gonna play the exit game as usual, right at the top. Yeah. You are in 15? Your turn. Hopefully it won't be mentally exhausted. This one exhausting. looks a little scary, but go ahead. Okay, here we go. When you open the next door, the cold hits you. What a temperature difference. You blink briefly because all around you swirls a cloud of ice crystals. Mm -hmm. As you take a few steps into the room, you almost slip. The ground is completely covered with ice and snow. Great. Suddenly you realize where you are, in the stable of the sleigh animals. There are there's snow inside the stable. Maybe. <laughs> They're already waiting excitedly for their big performance, being allowed to pull the sleigh on Christmas night. Mm. Provided that Christmas actually takes place as planned this year, you think bitterly, but you don't have any time to ponder your worries because the animals are already waddling toward you. Please turn the page. Dozens of penguins surround you. <laughs> excitedly trying to grab at leftover cookies stashed in your jacket pockets. That'd be me. The lead penguin peeks <laughs> stubbornly. Oh, yeah, pecks. The lead penguin pecks stubbornly <laughs> at your forearm. He peeks at it, too. It seems to be telling you something important. Oh, it has something on its beak. Some pieces of printed paper and a few scraps of shiny tape. Strange, very strange. Now open door 15. Behind you will find four riddle cards, 01 through 04, and one strange item sticker. Oh boy, and this then, one's... And then there's this with cutout lines all over it. Let's put it a little bit further back so it's getting blurry. I think that was blurry. Turn that again. Was it? Yeah, let's make sure. There you go. I think, I couldn't tell. It looked like it was blurry from here, but it could, just be, my, it could be my eyes. Yeah, well, there you go. All right. So we did receive riddle card zero, one through four. Mm -hmm. Zero one says. Oh, the letter O. Well, what do you think it is? No, well, it's an O. I said O, didn't I? <laughs> did I say zero? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm being pedantic, because I can. I won't say curse word on, my, on the show. <laughs> I was gonna call you something that nice. First cut along the dotted line to find your fifth, 13 puzzle pieces. Oh, that's the obvious thing. Piece together in a line from gifts to slay, your fun increases. Okay, so that's obvious. Mm -hmm. Using the Christmas sticky tapes, the puzzle pieces to adhere. Be careful of the starry shapes, lest in your haste they disappear. There's like this hmm. sticky tape. Okay. To solve this tricky Christmas clue, you need to do some folding. Oh, goody. Perhaps now check the riddle card a helpful hint it may be holding. Here's a tip. At reset, then unfold, new stars begin again. What the hell's going on here? Well, the back had some stars on it, so. And then riddle card 04. Oh, it just shows you how to fold it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe show that, maybe, maybe show that. So yeah. each of the pieces have like a star on them in different colors, and that shows you like fold this star to this star, and this star to this star. We had something similar like this last year's puzzle, yeah. and we got it all folded. It was so annoying mm -hmm. because it was really, I don't know. It was hard to fold. It was a mess, was, yeah. but we will give it a try, and then somehow this is going to come up with some numbers somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Are any numbers yeah. anywhere? Those shapes look God peculiar. Bless. This one looks hard, and the room just looks like a cold ice, and there's a penguin. All right. I'll take a picture of that and show it to you. Yep. Wish us luck. Bye. Well, that wasn't too bad. No, the folding part was like, ew, but it wasn't really that bad. The last year's folding was a, a nightmare. Yeah. So the first thing we had to do is cut out the 13 pieces and then basically puzzle them together to make um, the presents, which is up here, go yeah. to the sleigh. So that's 
took us a minute. We did one piece wrong. We figured it out. We put it back yeah. and figured it out. Okay. So we got that done. But then on those pieces, there's stars, there's star bursts, there's stars with like a, like a shooting star. And basically this card tells you how to fold it. And so the first one you fold, you know, star and star, this color star and that color star. And you make, you're basically making origami, <laughs> for better word. Yeah. Not really, but. Uh, and the first one, when we finished folding it, looked like a zero. So like, okay. Mm -hmm. Then it says reset. So you open the whole thing back up. And then you find, the, the, in this case, it was the stars with like the trail, like a shooting star. And there was three things to fold there, and that turned looked like a four. Yep. And we'll show you the pictures after we're done talking. And then the third one, after you open it back up and reset again, then you do the starburst, same thing, fold, fold, fold. And that looked like a three, so our number is zero, four, three. Yep. And we were right. <coughs> Excuse my cough. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings us. <coughs> I'm coughing today, right? Starting from 15 right here. Mm -hmm. Going to the left, up to the right, down to the right. Circle, star, square. Correct. And that'll be room number 16 for tomorrow. Sweet 16. <laughs> I wasn't a very sweet 16 year old. <laughs> I didn't say you're old. No, I'm just saying sweet 16. No, no, I said I wasn't a sweet 16 year old. Oh, okay. I, was I a see. I little kid. Mm, little demon at 16. I like Gene Simmons, if I like. All right, guys, so that'll be number 16 tomorrow. That was an easy one. I mean, that, you know. Yeah. Wow, that, that pen was very powerful. Also, I smell pen. <coughs> oh, boy. All right, guys, what's coming next, Phil? Puzzle. Yeah, good job. Puzzle. <laughs> then why? Lucky we have Phil today. Okay. It is Friday. Sound like I almost got in a bad accident or well, something. Well, we're always so busy in the mornings because of whatever. So let's open kitchen calendars. All right. Let's start with Keurig, which is in order. Number 14. No, 15. I was like, three, <laughs> 10 more days till Yeah, Christmas. we're done. For me, that means it's payday. That's a good thing. <laughs> For me, it means, oh, I don't know what it means. I'm self employed. <laughs> We've got McCafe Iced Mocha Frappe, if that's how you pronounce it. Frappe. Frappe, okay. I guess. I don't know either. <laughs> Frappe. So you have to make iced coffee. If you're not going to do that today, I'll do it later, maybe. I will make that. All right. Thank you, Keurig. As if Keurig actually bought us the calendar. <laughs> Well, they made it. Not a sponsor. Nope. Nobody's a sponsor. <clears throat> Nobody's a sponsor. Neither is Bon Maman. Let's see. Well, we where's still like Bon Maman. Number 15 is right there. Right. Oh, yeah. I've been enjoying every one of those so far. Season's greetings. And today it's... What does that say? I'll read it first and then show the camera. Nah. Uh, Oh wow, that's tiny. It's tiny. Mirabel Mirabel Plum Spice. Oh, this spread. is mine. Oh, you guys share. I'll share. I love plum. Okay. I love the plum Danish at Starbucks, but every time I go, it's always out. Like it's so popular. I had one so far this year. Not that I should have more than one, but every time I go I look and it's like, oh, sold out today. Damn it. <laughs> if you haven't tried the Starbucks Plum Danish, I'd give I would give it a try. All right. Uh, we'll 
World Christmas. Yes, and sir. And 15, also in order. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's easier to dig for it. Oh, this one looks different. Hmm. What is it? It's a... It's, it's a, a dino... Uh, T-Rex? It's a little dinosaur. T-Rex? <laughs> little, little hands? Let me see. Yeah, he got little hands. It's hard for him to wrap gifts. Uh, well, that's an interesting one. Where the heck are we going to put that one? That's when I'm like, okay, I don't know if I'm loving that one so much. I mean, for a little kid, it's probably amazing. Well, how about over here near Mr. Potato Head? Yeah, it sounds... Mrs. Potato Head. Don't oh, that's Mrs. Much. Potato Head. Use the okay. right pronoun. <laughs> or I guess All right. There we prefix. go. Prefix. No, I'm kidding. All right, guys. There's our kitchen calendars. Good morning, Turtle. Turtle is currently sitting on the advent calendar, and that's how she feels about it, I guess. <laughs> Mama, get up the advent calendar. Now, today I do have a hidden, oops, just changing the camera, hidden thing in my pocket in case it sucks. So today is number 15, which is, I thought I saw it a minute ago, and I put the Put it down, Turtle sat on it. Now I forgot where to do it. Oh, here it's 15. Turtle 15. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Piece of crap again. Yep, piece of crap again. So it's something felt. She's kind of digging wiffle balls lately. <gasps> What's that, Mama? And I think it is. <gasps> A wiffle ball? Really, this is what was really in there. Again, a piece of crap. Here. You love a wiffle ball. Yes, you do. Yeah. I'll put it there again. Okay, we're going to play tennis. Wrong way. Yeah, good job. Or do we put it here? All right. Good job, Mama. How about this? You want this? Okay, maybe that too. <laughs> now that we have, uh oh, there goes the, okay, the wiffle ball just went under the couch. So, so she'll get it eventually, she does. But at least it's a happy advent. And here's, here's Miss. Let's see if Miss wants the, Miss, do you want the little, where'd you, where'd you go? Come over here. Look, here, a little mitten for you. No? All right. Man, this calendar sucks this year. I'm just going to say it out loud. Next year, I am going to use the puzzle calendar that we have this year and put all sorts of toys that the cats really like in there. I'll make my own darn advent calendar. I usually don't want to do that. I'm too lazy, but um, th apparently these toys are not, not cutting it. And there has not been one fuzzy ball this year. Usually there's at least one of those little tinsel balls in here. And we're on day 15 and nothing. They must have cheaped out on us. Where'd you go? All right, we'll see you guys later. Okay, 15th of Advent. Wow, going fast. 10 more days until Christmas. I'm just glad it's Friday because I am tired. It's been a really long week. Um, and thank God we have some time off coming up and that's always good too. All right, let's start today with Body Shop. And number 15. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, guys, you know me. If you know me, you, you, you watch this before. Hand balm, basically hand cream. But I do love the smell of almonds and almond milk. So this should really smell nice. And I will put it in my collection of hand creams. <laughs> so. I think if we if we actually decide to do this again next year, I don't know if we will, to be honest with you. It's a lot of work um, when you're still working. Um, oh, here it says this, by the way. Community Fair Trade Almond Milk in today's treat is sourced from Spain. Oh, we work with a cooperative of small-scale farmers and check each almond hand. Wow, and check each almond by hand to help ensure the highest quality. That's a lot of work. Did you know that the almond plantations are also natural? Fire barriers, which help protect habitats from forest fires. Well, that's nice. Didn't know any of that. I just learned some new things. Um, what I was saying is, even being self-employed, I am so busy, and I'm blessed 
to making money and busy, but I'm also really tired. And um, yeah, I don't know if I can survive two more years of working, but we will see, at least full time. <laughs> I actually started my self-employment saying, I think I'm just gonna do like 20 hours a week you know, give myself like a part-time job, but it just doesn't work that way. When, when clients are asking you to do things, you have to fit in the time when they can do it and blah, 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 blah. So next thing you know, I'm doing 34, 40 hour weeks, um, which is great, but I'm tired. And then it doesn't make this as much fun because then I have to rush through these on the weekdays when I'm working. But anyway, why am I complaining? Do you care? You don't care. Uh, <laughs> does anybody care out there? Um, Ulta. Where's number 15? Oh, there it is. So that's a tiny one. Turtle is staring at the ceiling. I don't know why. Turtle, why are you staring at the ceiling? I want to say hello. Hello to the people sitting on your chair there. Say hello. I'm just sitting on the chair. She's, where's my advent, mommy? All right, let's see. A little tiny something. Oh, another glass bottle I could break, possibly. Um, oh, this is one of those... Yeah, let me read it over here first. It's Tan Lux, The Face, Illumina Illuminating Self Tan Drops. Okay. Tan, oh, Tan Lux, Tan Lux. I got like to tan. Self tan. I'm going to read about this. First of all, the bottle's only like quarter full. Not that I care. But <laughs> um, I got to look, look that up because I don't know if I want to be tanning my face. I'm extremely white, if you haven't noticed. Like, I'm pasty white, and um, I don't know if it's just a gentle, like, to make your face look a little bit, you know, tanner, or if it makes you look orange. I don't know. I'm going to read about that a little bit before I put anything on my face. Um, let's do Ink Next. Number 15. I've really loved, I've been enjoying this calendar, if you haven't noticed. Today's ink is called Walnut. I'm guessing it's a brown. You, you agree, Turtle? I don't know if you all heard that. <laughs> turtle Walnut. What do you think? I'm just like, whatever. So that should be neat to see what that one looks like. Don't forget to watch my Instagram if, you, if you're curious. What the colors look like. Oh my gosh, this is still heavy. Even though there's not as much in it anymore, it's still heavy. And last but not least, Bloomingdale, Bloomingdale's number 15. I was looking through YouTube yesterday and there was, I didn't watch the video. I'm a terrible person. I don't have time, I don't have time. just like you guys don't have time. Um, some woman wrote something like, I bought a $1,500 calendar and I'm disappointed or something like this. And I'm like, been there, done that. It was called Christian Dior Calendar a couple of years ago, but it wasn't 1500 it was 500 but still enough to say I was disappointed. Um, but the Bloomingdale's has been pretty good. So Bloomingdale's, I'm not going to lie, it was $300. But, you know, I, I know it's kind of stupid. If you don't care about face cream that normally goes for $500 on the market, then you're like, okay, it's still ridiculous, right? So get it. I totally get it. But if you understand the concept of, hey, this you know, whatever it is, runs on the market a regular size for three or $400, then you know you're getting a, a good, at least a good deal by getting this calendar. Um, so here we have Maison France, Francis Kirk, all right, whatever, Paris. Bougie perfume. <laughs> I've never said that good bougie. Oh, it's a candle, damn it, it's a candle. I was hoping it was perfume. All right, Bloomingdale's, you're giving us two calendars, uh, two, two calendars, two candles in this calendar, which I'm not thrilled by. It says 72, 724. Maybe I should play that number. Maybe that's a three-digit three number I should play in the lotto. Maison Francis, or at least smell it. Actually, it smells nice. This one has a nice light smell, which I really, really like. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'll use it, but I mean... I hate getting cal cal candles. I'm not really a candle person anymore since I went Scentsy. Um, years ago, my girlfriend, Tammy, who I haven't talked to in a long time, but she um, she sells Scentsy, and she got me hooked on it. So my whole house has got Scentsy. It's those like wax melts, 
but they're really, really nice. And like right now my whole house smells like Christmas, for example. And uh, I like the fact that they're not candles, you know, because they don't, they can't cause a fire per se. Um, but anyway, I'll still keep this candle. It's going to be fine. Actually, this one's really nice compared to the other one even, so I might use this as our center candle for Advent. Let's see. So yeah, good, good selection today, except again, uh, again, enough hand cream to kill myself with. <laughs> so... Oh, next year maybe I'll just do something totally different. No, maybe I'll get like one um, beauty calendar, and, you know, or maybe none, and, and maybe we won't do the show next year. We'll see. <laughs> I'll just take it one day at a time. For those of you who watch, I really appreciate it, though. Our numbers are really low this year, and I think it's because everybody's so busy, and also just everybody's got so much to watch. I mean, even us. Last last night we watched Lego Masters, the finale, which was really good. Um. You know, there's just so much content out there. There's so much to watch, so much to do. And, uh, you know, trying to find Jane and Phil's measly advent calendar series is probably not on everybody's bucket list of things to do. <laughs> but for those of you who are watching, we so, so, so appreciate you. Um, especially if you've come from my, uh, knee count, my, knee, my knee situation or if you've just been here for a long time with the gaming stuff. Uh, we do appreciate you. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. I'm not sure if we should try another wine. I'm not having good luck, <laughs> but I guess we should. Number 15, here it comes. Oh, it has more of that rum chata. Yeah, let's see. No. This is Chateau Somade Corbires. Who the heck knows what that means? Um, this one is from, I don't even know. Um, commune, uh, six miles. Of, here, you read that. I have no idea where it's from. Hmm. I mean, ah! Corbieras sounds like it would be, uh, oh, France. All right. All right. It's Corbieras. Well, hopefully it's good. I'll see you mm -hmm. in a minute. All right, let's give it a shot. Now, I remember the aerator, but here's the problem. Too big. Mm. <laughs> So, fluid displacement. Yeah, fluid displacement. So we can't use the aerator, but I did remember it. Or actually, Phil remembered it. Doesn't matter. I'll get the candy. Let's give it a shot. Number 15, can make candy. We got a snowman today. I don't know why I'm singing. By the way, did anybody notice there's a turtle here? There's a turtle here. And her little basket on the window. We did a we did a turtle post today because she was kicking all of her toys out of that thing. Like, oh, Stupid yeah, that toys. Funny. Thank you for kisses. Aw. Who loves you? Oh, don't be fighting him. Hey? Hello? Can I have my hand back? Thank you. Alright, I gave it a high pour, so maybe it got a little air. We'll see. It smells it good. nice. Tangy. Very tangy. But no. Tang, tang's not going away, but it's not bad. Not I bad. think it still needs a little more hair. Hmm. I need to open. I don't know if it's okay. It's all right. Open. That's all right. I'll finish it. I won't throw this one away. All right. Um, so that's it for day 15. Hope you guys enjoyed those of you who are watching we do appreciate you if you are watching do we not we do of course and um here comes the ornaments of the day but this is a special sweet ornament of the day you'll see what we mean oh we're ending the day with ornament of the day um so i think we've mentioned a few different times now Bronner's in michigan which is a huge christmas store if you've never been uh, up in Frankenmuth, Michigan. And we don't, like I said, we typically buy Hallmark ornaments for our tree, just as like tradition or whatever. But um, they come up with some pretty cool ornaments and we like the squishy ones. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So every time we go to Bronner's, we both pick one squishy ornament and they're always like a cupcake. See, look, see, squishy. <laughs> so somebody got a cupcake. Um, Here's a s'mores up here. See, squishy. 
they're just squishy little ornaments and they're typically something I shouldn't eat. Uh, so for example, this is like a devil dog down here, squishy, right? So there's a bunch of these on the tree because every year we get like two when we go up there. Um, trying to see if I find any more before we end this little segment. But um, we always get two and then we uh, are collecting them basically. Oh, here's one. Here's another cupcake. Daryl said what? Hey, cupcake, squishy. I just like the way they feel too. Oh, here's a brownie. It's kind of hard to see. But they look like like food. I don't know. We like food. Oh, here's, I got the, this is actually one we bought this year. It's a pretzel. Hey, it's squishy. Now oh, here's a donut. Okay, I'm finding them all now. See, squishy donut. But these are all from Bronner's and uh, like I said, every year we get two and we put them on our tree. That's today's ornament of the day.